Hey guys, it's Elena and welcome back. So for today's video, I really wanted to show you guys what I do for like an everyday sort of makeup. My skin is actually pretty decent right now and I'm excited, but I still have blemishes that I want to blur out. And I have this breakout right here and I just want to even out my whole skin. This is more just like a light everyday makeup. So to get started, I'm going to quickly prep my skin. And I feel like prepping my skin is one of the most important parts of doing makeup and I feel like a lot more people are starting to recognize the importance of skincare in a makeup routine and I feel like it's more talked about so I'm very happy with that I don't cleanse my skin in the morning I just use a toner and a cotton pad to like wipe away any excess oil and dust debris that may have landed on the skin. I'm using the Skin 1004 Madagascar Centella Toning Toner. As you can see, there is that oil and dirt. It's actually healthier for your skin to not be extremely squeaky clean, and that's what I feel like has helped my skin the most the past couple of months that I've been, or I guess you could say like over a year now, that I've replaced morning cleansing with using a toner and a cotton pad. Anyone else still using this Purito uh, moisturizer SPF thing? Because I really did stock up on these. And so I'm actually just using it as a moisturizer because it has, it adds a little bit of extra protection. That is just what I do to prep my skin. It's nothing crazy. Even though I do a lot of skincare videos, I don't go ham with my skincare products. I try to keep all of my products at a pretty minimal quantity. During the day, I don't want anything heavy, especially in the summertime. So what I do after my moisturizer has settled in, I will use this Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. And I feel like this is one of the most important steps of my makeup routine. I want my makeup to still stay on as long as possible. And I feel like this Hydro Grip Primer really, really helps with the longevity of my makeup. Also guys, aren't these earrings so cute? They're like these little heart resin earrings. I feel like it's such a vibe. So I usually pat that all over like my T-zone area, just like this area of my face, and then I spread it outwards a little bit to kind of get the excess going in there. But I try to keep it in my T-zone because that's where I get the most oily. That's where a lot of like separation tends to happen. I actually haven't really been putting a lot of product on my forehead anyway because I do wear a lot of hats and I do like where my forehead is headed forehead is headed that's funny my forehead has been looking immaculate and i don't want to usually put anything on there so i don't even know why i put anything there today i'm not really going to try that hard to cover this up today but yeah i'm not really going to i almost forgot a very important step before going in with my foundation i'm actually going to use this elf poreless putty primer it kind of evens out and makes the surface of my skin look a lot smoother so a lot of my pores are of course on my t-zone but it's mostly right in this area oh, that's funny so i really just take a little bit and i press it into my pores and then spread it down my nose like that and then also press it in by no means am i a makeup artist i kind of just do what i feel like looks best for me it's whatever suits your own standards there are no rules to makeup it's whatever makes you feel good so my pores are larger because i have oily skin if you have oily skin you know you know the struggle honestly i don't really see it as a bad thing because i don't really look at my pores and be like oh my god my pores it's just pores and it's so normal what i have been loving lately are lightweight skin like foundations for foundation and concealer i'm going to be using these merit perfecting complexion sticks i have the color linen and camel and i've talked about it in my last video where I did like a get ready with me while I talk about how I deal with anxiety. Basically, I'm gonna take linen, which is the lighter color, and I'm gonna put it in areas that I feel like need a little bit of brightening up. So that's under my eyes and around my nose. And then I'm gonna take camel, which is my skin tone color, and I'm gonna put that over, and then I'm gonna put the rest here. What I actually like about these merit sticks is, first of all, I was a little concerned because they're so small, but the coverage that it gives you, you actually don't need a lot of product to get like a decent amount of coverage. You see how quickly that blended? 
and that is why I like this product and also it's so lightweight and it provides just the perfect amount of coverage that I'm looking for for an everyday foundation anyway how are you guys doing honestly I feel like life has been testing me lately there's so much scary bad and there's so much amazing good and it's like ah, it's so difficult to always keep like a positive good mindset 24 7 like you always have to keep yourself in check and sometimes that can be really exhausting especially when you're met with like very difficult topics or areas in your life that you have to face i just want to give everyone who's going through shit right now a big fat hug so i'm gonna go in and contour my face i love this fenty matchstick it's called matchstick i actually use it for my contour the matchstick is in the color truffle i love how lightweight this is i don't know if it's just me but it's really hard to blend out so what i do is i actually take a brush and then i take the complexion stick and i use the brush on the complexion stick and then onto my face because if I do it directly on my face like that, I'm gonna ruin my foundation on the bottom because I'm just gonna keep blending it out and it does not blend out very well. I'm gonna use my brush to just place the contour and start blending that way. Then I'm gonna be taking the foundation brush that I was just using and blending it out like that. Okay, maybe that didn't take as long as I thought. <laughs> Am I just being dramatic? Maybe. Do you guys ever have one side of your face that's easier to contour than the other? Because I do. I'm gonna take whatever excess product I have on my contour brush, which is this one right here. So I'm just gonna contour my nose like that. And I like that it's like a straight, straight brush because it's really easy to contour my nose. It takes me a couple seconds. And then I will blend it out. So for blush, I'm gonna use the Fenty Match Stick in the color Beach Bum. This is so cute. I'm gonna be using my Morphe E4 brush. It's like an angled contour brush, I think, but I actually like to use it for blush purposes. It has the most perfect undertone to go with the warm tones that I'm putting on my face because I want it to be warm and bronzy and glowy. I'm just gonna be putting that right on top of my contour, right there. See, I'm still trying to figure out my blush placement. I think like higher cheekbone works well for me. I'm also gonna put some on the bridge of my nose a little bit for a sun-kissed look and on the, the very tip of the nose, like that. I'm gonna take the leftovers and put it on the temples of my forehead. Everything that I put on my face doesn't actually feel like I'm wearing anything because I have oily skin. My skin tends to feel very heavy at the end of the day, so I don't want anything heavy. So because I have oily skin and most likely my makeup might slip and fall off in the next hour if I don't do this, is I use the all-nighter spray. This all-nighter spray is something that I do before I carry on with any powder products that I'm going to use and the rest of my makeup because it actually can make my skin look oily even though it's not oily so it gives this like dewiness to it that was a really generous amount of spray whatever purpose this day makeup is for at the end of the day i still want it to stay on after i let that set i'm just going to so this is the Marc Jacobs finish line in the color invisible. So it doesn't really have a color. It's invisible. I like this because it's so fine and it's so lightweight. At this point, I can touch my face and it doesn't feel like anything is there. And that's how... That's happy. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my bronzer and I just love how everything looks so nice and natural and even. But I look like I have a healthy bronzy glow already so i'm going to go in with my physician's formula butter bronzer so i'm just going to take a little bit of that bronzer i'm going to give it a nice little swoosh in there to get the product nice and even and tap it away and this is the fun part where we just bronze up the skin this side looks really nice and bronzy i kind of just keep it in this area right here kind of like in between my blush and my contour and I just swoosh it around in between and try to really blend it in there as best as I can and then up around my forehead so I look pretty sun-kissed, I guess. My skin looks so natural right now. I just feel like this looks really natural and like I'm not trying to like 
be extremely perfect like some of my scars are still showing through and i feel like that that kind of gives the makeup a very barely there makeup look or a very natural look to it i'm gonna take the rest of my bronzer and just tap it around my nose contour and then of course around my jawline my chest is actually a little bit lighter around here my shoulders are pretty tan so my shoulders match my face really well my chest and my face color like my natural face color without the makeup is actually a little paler than my shoulders because i'm constantly wearing sunscreen this is my go-to sunscreen this sunscreen right here is like so good this is the la roche posay broad spectrum spf 60 and thalios melt and sunscreen milk i will go in and use my bronzer as my eyeshadow i'm just gonna color my lids with it it kind of mends this bronziness with my eyelids to give it some depth because here i'm really bronzy here but like there's this like colorless area of my face which looks pretty flat and it doesn't really look seamless and so i'm just gonna color that in now it looks more even with some depth. And then I also take some of that bronzer and focus it on the bottom tip of my nose, I guess you could say. I'm gonna be taking this Bare Minerals eyeshadow, I believe, in Supernova. I don't know if they still sell this because this has been around for quite some time, but it has the most beautiful bronzy finish. And I just take the tiniest bit, like I usually go on the cap and I'll swoosh my brush around to get a nice even, distribution and then I just kind of wipe it all over my lid and it's like the most subtle thing you probably can't even tell on camera but in person like if the light hits my eyelids it looks so pretty it makes my eyelids look a little bit rounder it's a little bit more eye-catching it's not as flat I don't know if you can tell but this is the eye that has that shimmer and here's the eye that doesn't and I like a nice subtle makeup look so this is extremely like such a subtle touch that you probably can't even tell but i can i can tell and i love it when i say i use the tiniest bit i literally mean i use the tiniest bit this is for both lids bare minerals eyeshadows are so pigmented I, oh my gosh i'm not even focused hello since i'm going for i keep saying since i'm going for a glowy look like you probably get it i'm going to take this nars highlighter in the color ibiza and i'm going to put that in my inner corner for a nice subtle glow can you tell that nice little inner corner highlight i'm gonna take a little bit of that highlight tap the excess you see where my eyeball is right there from the middle of my eyeball all the way up when some light hits me my cheek looks insane and then i'm actually going to take a little bit and bring that up here and i just I just very much enjoy it. I'm gonna put a little bit on my chin. Keep its bow a little bit here, just the lightest, lightest little touch. I'm gonna be using Merit's Perfect Black Mascara. I mainly focus my mascara on the roots. I really just wiggle my mascara in there and then flick up. I don't usually do anything with my brows. Sometimes I'll do that soap brow trick. For lips, I'm gonna be using the NYX Professional Lip Pencil in the color Natural. I'm just gonna outline my lips a little. Because it's almost my lip color, it looks really natural. I'm gonna add the slightest bit of lip gloss on me. This is the NYX Intense Butter Gloss in the color Peanut Brittle. I love this lip gloss. I'm just gonna dab it on. Yay! And we're done. Let me do my hair really quickly and I will get right back to you. All right, guys, that's it for my bronzy, everyday, glowy makeup. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.